first day of May lead coding challenge and we are solving lead code problem number 278. It's called first bad version. And uh, this problem is uh, very, very similar to typical binary search with very little variation here. So you are given uh, a list of versions of a product and you are told that the current version is faulty. This you are given. And here you see GG and then BBBB. So here BB denotes the bad versions and GG denotes the good versions of a product. So once a bad version occurs, then all the versions after that are bad. Uh, no G can occur after once a B occurs. So your task is to find out from which version this has started the problem. And uh, you will be given one API, get bad version, and you will pass one index of this array. And this API will return you whether it's true or false, whether it's good or bad. So you have to do it minimum number of calls to that function. And we will be using binary search approach and we will do it in log n times. So let's see. Uh, so here we have a version starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You are not even in fact given an array. You are just given a number. That is what is the current version number and it's bad. Nth version number is bad not good it's given two things you are given so you will see current is bad so uh, either it started from this current thing or it started from in this part of version from 1 to n so we query the middle one middle one uh, so this is the array we query the middle one and we ask is this bad or not? This middle is M. And the first one is start. Last one is end. End is bad. That's given. So we query if middle is bad. If it returns true, that is 1. Or it can return 0, that is not bad. If the middle is bad, that means it's bad and it may have started anywhere before it because if once it's bad everything else will be bad so where do we search we will not search in one minus mid but we will search from till mid because maybe this is the first index uh, which is bad so our search will become if original binary search is from 1 to n or start to end then if mid is bad then we will search from start to mid. If it's not bad, it's good. Then everything to the left is good. So search for bad would be only in this part, one after mid. But in this case, it was including mid because this may be the first one. This may be the index we are looking for. So here we are strictly more than mid. So start index will change we will no longer search in this part so it will be m plus 1 till end end will remain same so you see uh, there is no overlap here s to m m plus 1 to e next uh, again we will look in whichever part we search again we will look the middle and repeat the same thing and uh, when we have s less than E, uh, we will continue our search and we will stop when S becomes equal to E. And you see, when we narrow down our search, we are 100% sure of results. We know current version is bad, so there is no chance of missing it. In general binary search, what you do, you keep searching and when uh, these indices become equal or cross each other, you return minus one if you don't find it. That is, I did not find the number I was searching for. That is the typical binary search. Here, that case will never happen. It's guaranteed that there is a bad. That's why we are searching. The current one is bad. And here, whenever we are dividing the problem, we are 100% sure. If mid is bad, we are 100% sure. The first bad occurs in this part, including mid. If it's good, the middle one, then we are 100% sure that the first bad will occur in this part and for sure this last one is bad 
so when e is less than s is less than e we know that uh, we have to continue our search we have not found yet the exact number and when it becomes equal then again with 100% surety we have not narrowed down our search to just one index and we are sure that bad one will lie at this index only so you don't even need to call it you can call it you will get one only if you call this api but uh, if they become equal you straight away return that number so let's uh, implement it first in c++ then we will modify our solution for java and python so this is the problem you can see that unfortunately the latest version of your product fails the quality check so even if uh, you have just this list is just one length that is just one element in this list then that element will be bad only that cannot be good so there are two approaches for this uh, you can see a recursion happening also here if we call is bad on with two different indices and we can do it iteratively also we can run a loop while s is less than e and keep updating the indices i will show you both the approaches uh, because it's a good uh, starting problem for learning uh, the basics of recursion so first let's look at the recursive solution so this original function does not accept two indices so we will define one helper function let's call it first bad version and we will pass it start and end if s equal to e then we return s else we calculate mid s plus e minus s by 2 and why do we do the, you should know by now why do we calculate mid like this if we do s plus e divided by 2 mathematically we will get the same result because if you take the common lcm this 2 multiplies to s 2s plus e minus s which is s plus e divided by 2 but we do it like this way because if s is larger than uh, let's say int max by 2 and then e is also larger than that start so the sum of these two will be larger than int max and you will see some negative value there so that's why we do it this way that way we make sure that we don't exceed the limit of integer is bad version this is the api that they are providing is bad version And that's it. Uh, we also need to call it here. Uh, from 1 to n. And let's try. And it works for this case. So let's submit. And the solution is accepted now first we will see the iterative approach then uh, in other languages we will modify the iterative approach because that is supposed to be faster than uh, so many recursive calls uh, so let's get rid of everything we will not need a helper function we will need two indices start equal to one and end equal to n and we will loop till s is less than e mid equal to s plus e minus s by 2 if is bad version mid then e equal to mid we are shifting, shifting the end else s equal to mid plus 1 
exactly same logic and once s is not less than e that is s is equal to e then we return s and let's try this solution as well and it's also working let's submit and the solution is accepted so let's uh, try the same thing in uh, other languages java and python and i don't think we need any change here let's try in java and it works so let's submit and the solution is accepted now we will do the same thing in python 3 and let's try it and it gives correct answer but we see some difference here let's see if it accepts it or not if not we will convert it to int okay so it expects it int so this may be non int float this may not be exactly divisible by 2 now this should accept and our solution in python is also accepted so this problem may seem very simple but uh, this binary search concept is used again and again and uh, this may not be a main problem but it may be used uh, as a small utility function in, in some bigger problem so you you should be thorough with uh, how to quickly write uh, a binary search code